love the handicap parking only sign. <laughs> of course, that's for here, not on the sidewalk, but still kind of funny. Of all the places to pick, kind of interesting. Every time I pack up, I get a little quicker at it. I get everything a little bit more secure. And then the tank bag, you know, I've, I've really uh, gotten a lot better at keeping things that are important that I'm gonna use all the time right there up in front of me or things I want to access quickly. It's been perfect. The whole trip I've had this right here on top. So as far as I'm aware, it never misses a beat. And then in my saddlebags, I've gotten to the point where things that I need to get quick, I keep them in one bag. If I want to grab my camera or I want to charge something over here, that's been in one bag. Things I don't get to as often has been have been over on this side. And at this point, I will load up and get a move on, but I do want to hit a store, get a couple items possibly. to Fort Nelson and I've been told between here and there about 150 miles there is no other gas station. The Himalayan it seems like basically I get about 140 miles on a tank right now. Now the fuel economy is supposed to be better than that. I guess it's still breaking in a little bit but I think the issue is I'm going full bore on the highway with a bunch of extra weight and gear, there's no way I'm gonna get top fuel economy. So, um, anyway, I should be able to make it with my spare fuel canisters. Two hours, 22 minutes of riding. Had to stop for a break. I've been going for like an hour plus of riding. Haven't seen much of anything. It's like just oh, more and more and more highway as you go. That's all you see. I saw one police officer, a couple other vehicles, not many. But what I've seen a lot of is bugs. There is tons of bugs. Little bugs. Big bugs. I'm not so bad, so that's good. Hey, in fact, uh, yeah, so the windscreen on the Royal Enfield Himalayan is doing its job. I'm doing pretty good. Let's take a look at my helmet real quick. I had a couple on there. There's a big one hit me right up high. I know what I need to do while I'm stopped. I need to get my chain lubed up. All right, that ought to do it. Let's see if I can notice how much faster I am now.
I am about to take everybody on a little journey to see some incredible scenery. I've already been through, turned around, and I'm gonna do it again. Because it was awesome. Not to mention, I just saw some bear, elk. It's been a good day. ago I was riding and well according to the bike it was like 98 degrees I don't know what was going on there the bike was sitting still in the Sun but anyway well now it says it's 84 but uh, in the shade with the breeze it's kind of chilly All right. well that's that hope you enjoyed it It's about 8.20 a.m. and uh, while I had some things out of my um, saddlebags, I decided to pull everything off so I could get under the seat and wire this up. So here's this little cot that Phil let me borrow. It's not high off the ground, but it doesn't need to be. It's just enough to keep you, you know, on a more smooth surface, keep you off the damp ground, um, whatever you need. There you go, all packed up. Check that out. Pretty compact. Now, if you're a heavier person, you can use uh, more of these heavy duty rings. Um, I'm not that heavy, so uh, I only used four rods through the middle, which means eight pieces of the gray uh, circles. But you can see, compared to my gloves, it's pretty small.
I put a tracker on the car. That's crazy. Ain't that something? Yeah. I'm recording right now too. It's perfect. We're going to ride down and try to find the river because we saw a little accident. Same here. That's what we're doing. We're going, but it's getting thicker further down through there, so I didn't want to beat up the side. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. I yeah, thought we saw a pile of buffalo out at the river. Oh, you did, yeah. So that's what we're going to go down there and see. But you saw it. Was there a big group right on the road? Oh, yeah. Like many, yeah, so you did that. And then I did the same thing. I was like, okay, that's really cool, but I'd like to I'd like to park, right. get the camera out, but I don't want to do that on the road. Right. I'm, I'm kind of fulfilled. Did you guys see, um, like yesterday, did you see tons of elk and bear? No, and... we didn't see no elk or bear. What? No, no but we seen a... Yeah, Maybe? about nothing yesterday. So... Antelope, elk. Caribou. Caribou. Yeah. Caribou today. Oh, you saw a caribou? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, we've seen several caribou today. And a lot of young ones. And of course, the buffalo. And the sheep. Has Mike been doing good? Yeah, it's doing awesome. I, great. It's just, it's great. Yeah. Because I told him what he was riding, I mentioned to her. I said, man, that, that dual sport through here, man, ideal. You know what's crazy? I feel like I'm going fast. Well, I am. I'm, I'm going oh, pretty rolling. quick. You're rolling, because that's what I told her. I said, man, he's rolling out. Yeah. And I still have people, even in the turns, that are on my butt. I'm like, right. are you kidding? Yeah. And then I and then I started thinking, well, maybe my speedometer is wrong, but <laughs> they're just, they're nuts. No, you're rolling on, that's for sure. Did you see that TW? Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> that's exactly right, mine. Exactly. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, I wonder if he saw that. How could you miss it right on the front of an oh, right RV? Out front of that RV. I said, right there, one our TW. That works. <laughs> All right, Justin. Be right. careful, buddy. Uh, we'll careful of, as I've while. been. <laughs> All right, take it easy. Good seeing you again. No Gene and Lynn, right? All right. All right, if I see you again, I'll try to remember. <laughs> no Be careful, bro. Thanks, take care. <laughs> you want more? You want more petting, huh? Yep. Fluffy ears. I just got into the Yukon. Uh, there was a sign back here, but the sign was so crappy. It was such a terrible sign that I just, I couldn't even. I pulled over and then I just got back on the road and kept going because it's, it's a horrible sign. And I actually have photos of it from uh, 10 years ago. And it was fine then, I don't know, but now it's like all falling apart, looks like junk. So maybe there'll be another one, because uh, the road actually kind of comes into the Yukon, then it leaves, and then it comes back in.
So where are you guys headed to today? We are headed to Watson City and down 37. Watson, right. Okay, cool. That's not too far off. Uh, so, so we got Lou and Lou Bo. Okay. I shared a, shared a campsite with these guys last night, so they were nice enough to let me um, kind of squat here. And yeah, it was good. Good time. You got any thoughts on the uh, on the Himalayan? Looks good. I Looks like good. It. You like uh, the look? That's good. Interesting, something different. So. Yeah, we want to see some reviews on it. Uh, not much else you could possibly say, not having well, ridden, not having it, ridden or, it or. Yeah. Not. Well, I definitely envy you know the nice, cushy, expensive rides that you guys got. But. Uh, We're old. But Lubo, you said you might you're thinking about actually downsizing to like a smaller CC bike or um, 700, 750, something like that. 700, 750, yeah. Yeah, I could see where that's the sweet spot. Do what you got to do and drop the weight. Oh, and you got so you got the GS, you got a 1200, and then that's uh, Tenere. Yep, Super Tenere. Super Tenere 1200. Pretty slick. And how far have you ridden this trip so far? 6,500 6, miles. Okay. We got about 45, 4 to 45 to get home. Wow, okay. So between 10 to 11,000. And how many days so far? This is the. Two weeks. This is the 15th day. Nice. And you got a couple of weeks left? We were planning another, for. Another two. <laughs> we, we, we budgeted four weeks. Okay. So. Awesome. All right. Well, it was a pleasure meeting you guys. Yep.
This is just too cool. What's too cool? Oh, I'm gonna show you. Well, that's, that's pretty cool, of course. But that's really cool. Yep, this is just about unreal. The gravel, the little stream, the flowers, the color of the water. Man, this is awesome. Brought to you by Royal Enfield Himalayan. Well, I'd love to camp right here, but I think I need to get some more miles in. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Man, I'm pumped now. That's so cool. Checking on me, see if I'm okay. I'm better than okay. Let's do this. Yeah, part of me uh, suspected that was fake and part of me felt a weird tension in my thighs the moment I saw the skirt and the feet. <laughs> Funny. Oh man. Uh, can't say it looks very comfortable. Always good to see mattresses, but uh, I'd prefer they weren't covered in dirt and mildew. 
Well, let's make a photo happen, I guess. campground right now because it's almost midnight. I left that little cabin. It's getting kind of rained on. So I took off and then I was cruising along and it's pretty dark, you know, with my uh, windscreen down and it's tinted. Then I passed by this campground and then I looked at the clock and it was like, uh, 11 11 or something like that so I pulled into the campground they actually have a, a tenting enclosure area to keep bear out but I don't really have a tent I've got the tarp so I needed to park the motorcycle and put the tarp on so the enclosure is no good for me oh I'll get six hours of sleep I think probably so I don't have any food over here or bear to be interested in, but I also feel pretty safe because I'm in the middle of like other, you know, RVs and campers. They're all over the place around here. Didn't even waste time setting up the cot, just on my air mattress. But um, I'm fine with that. Okay, good night.